seven days boating down the mighty Murray with 35 of your newest friends. Watching the world go by from your tinny, camping by the river and sharing epic stories along the way. My next guest is way ahead of you. Dan Willersdorf is the brains behind the inaugural tinny rally from Mildura to Manham that kicks off this weekend. Dan Willersdorf, good afternoon. Good day, Prue. How are you going? I'm really well. Now, give us the basics. How does the tinny rally work? Well, you uh, you turn up with your tinny and your best mate and uh, load it up with enough food, supplies and fuel to last seven days and set off downstream. It's with, as uh, easy as that. Yeah, that's it. So where did this idea, because this is, I mean, anyone can really do that, but you're kind of doing it in a really big group and it's, it's well organised. You have organised it. Where did this idea come from? Uh, it's inspired by the old adventures like the Leyland brothers going down the Murray Darling or down the Darling River in 1964 and things like the Camel Trophy where they took um, Land Rovers across uh, sort of remote country in the 1980s and yeah it's about going out and undergoing a bit of a challenge and, and exploring uh, the river and it's a spectacular place to explore we've got right here on the doorstep. So why did you want to invite a whole bunch of people you didn't know on your own holiday? <laughs> Well, it's fun doing things on your own, but it's also fun doing things with 35 new friends. Um, and it's been on people's bucket lists for a long time. Like a lot of people have wanted to do it, but it's a bit of logistics to organise. We have um, we organise a bus to sort of so everyone can drop their car and trail at the end and then catch the bus back to the start. And yeah, there's some logistics to organise to make it happen. And also there's some fairly remote sections where there's no phone service. So if you do break down, it's good to have another boat with you to tow you through. So what's been the response? Uh, yeah, it's been, it's been uh, very, very good. We've, uh, we've, this one's full at 35 or 36 people and we've got the one in March has two places left and that'll be full at 70 and then next year we'll, um, yeah, next year we'll have more as well. So It's really taken off as a concept. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. The yeah, response has been overwhelming really. We had to sort of keep a bit of a lid on it so that we can manage the numbers and um, make sure that we uh yeah we don't uh, we can make it down without getting in too many people's way. So what's the itinerary, Dan? Uh, so yeah, over seven days we set off um, on the Sunday for Mildura and we stop at Wentworth, um, 50 k's down the river for lunch and just do a final check. We've got enough fuel uh, and then we set off through Lock 10 into the Murray Dar into the Murray Sunset National Park and we have a couple of days through there and then we go past the Essa into South Australian border and then we're um, into the Woolshed Brewery. There's a beautiful brewery right on the river, so it's pretty cool pulling your, pulling your tinny right up at the brewery and stopping out and then um, on through the Riverland towns and the Overland Corner Hotel is a pub in the Riverland built in 1960, uh, 1864, so historic old pub we stop out and we can pull our tinnies up there and camp on the side and then through... The rest of the towns, we'll stop at probably Morgan one night. Um, it's pretty flexible, really. Like I've got, we've got certain spots we want to stop at, but if you um, if you want to go a bit faster or slower, you can do that as well. And it's camping all the way. Yeah, so it's very unique here in that there's a lot of uh, opportunity to camp pretty much wherever you want. In the Victorian side, there's we've got the national park which um, offers free camping, and then once we're into South Australia, we have Crown land next to the river where you can camp for free for up to 21 days. So there's a lot of freedom. Um, it's not everywhere you can sort of do that. We see a good campsite and you can just pull up and stop there. So it's pretty cool to be able to do that. I love that uh, on your website, you've actually got a little video of uh, what it looks like from the tinny going down <laughs> the mar I mean, it is such an extraordinary experience being able to see that part of the world just from the little the base of your little tinny. I mean, it's it's gorgeous. It's it's a very different way to see the Murray. Yeah, and you can buy a tinny for a couple of grand, so it's a very cheap way to have a great adventure. And um, you see some spectacular stuff. I mean, the amount of birds you see down the Murray when you're travelling down there is absolutely amazing. The uh, the big cliffs, which um, you see them in some of the iconic photos of the Murray River, mm. but they stretch for they stretch for a long, long way, um, a lot further than you'd think. They're 40 metres high, so they're pretty spectacular. You're quite dwarfed by them in your tiny tinny when you're cruising past these 40 metre long cliffs. Uh, I'm speaking with Dan Willersdorf, who's the organiser of the inaugural Tinny Rally, which unsurprisingly, I'm going to say, has really taken off as a concept. So uh, your your first one is, is this weekend, Dan, and you've got a few more 
uh, organised for you know the coming months and then into the new year. Do you spend a lot of time on the Murray River, or are you sort of just a a a, a, a visitor, you know, occasionally? Uh, I grew up down this way, but yeah, I, I now live in Queensland. But I um yeah, I enjoy exploring the river, and this is a good excuse to come do it. Um, <laughs> we've got. <laughs> We've got people coming from uh, Queensland and, yeah, New South Wales come participate. There's people that drove down from Mungandai on the Queensland border. Um, we had a couple of guys arrive at the caravan park last night on their posty bikes with their surfboards um, coming from Newcastle. And they've bought a tinny, uh, especially for this event, and they've already sold it. So someone's picking it up at the end where they, when they finish, and then they're continuing their surfing tour on their posties. Oh, that is cool. Can you only do it if you've got a tinny? You can't come on any other kind of boat? Uh, no, it's pretty open to other boats. Um, yeah, br- bring what you've got. We don't want people to sort of go out and buy one if you've already got a little fiberglass um, boat. So mm. bring what you've got. There's a few, um, yeah, there's a few different boats coming for sure. But it isn't a race. No, no, there's no no racing um, needed. It's enough of a challenge just to get down down to the end and not run out of fuel and food and. Um, <laughs> So yeah, fair enough. Hey, Dan, good luck with it. I hope it's really fun. I hope the weather smiles on you as well. Uh, and, um, yeah, thanks for sharing this idea. I mean, what a, what a beautiful way to spend a week. It is. Thanks, Prue. Yeah, it's sensational. Dan Willersdorf is the organiser of the inaugural Tinny Rally. You can find out more, tinny, tinnyrally.com.au. Uh, yeah, I had a look at the video and I just, I just thought, oh, how relaxing. The bird life. The beautiful scenery. 29 past four here on ABC.